Erev Tov, Chavarim. I'm Stephen Benu. You're watching Israeli News Live. We have breaking news. Uh, Brother Roddy shared with me that he'd gotten an, a text earlier today from a friend of his that says that Russia, he said, is it a possibility that Russia may be actually are going to, going to take over the Encirlik base in Turkey? This is where the United States has a major uh, nuclear weapons stockpile there. It has been a base shared uh, with uh, Erdogan's military, the Turkish military, as well as the United States military there for, for many years, uh, in fact. And now we are hearing the possibility that Russia may be using this base. Well, I did a little bit of homework real quick just before coming on air to kind of share with you what we find out. And yes, there is. we have one article here. It's only 11 hours ago. This is from uh, Rud Radal. R-U-D-A-W dot net, the English version, Middle East, Turkey. Um, and it says here, Turkey could allow Moscow to use Inserlik Air Base, says Russian Senator. Okay, that was 11 hours ago. This is the air base itself, U.S. plane taking off right there. Uh, it says, uh, Kurdistan region, a member of the Russian parliament, has suggested that Turkey could allow Russian forces to use its Inserlik Air Base as part of its war in Syria to demonstrate its willingness to work with the Kremlin. Turkey could provide the Inserlik base to the Russian Aerospace Forces for its use in counterterrorism operations in Syria. This could become a logical continuation of Turkish President Erdogan's step towards Russia. Uh, Senator Viktor Azarov, a member of the Russian Upper House of Parliament, said on Tuesday, according to RIA Novosti, which that begs to, the question is, what about the nuclear weapons in that are being housed there by the United States. Well, if you look here online, journalists everywhere are asking an incredible question. This one here for you, uh, nuclear weapons are, are, are uh, translated from, you know, just on the translation button here. La mi nuclear stano davvero la scanaro. Okay, nuclear weapons are really leaving in circlic. This is what this person here is asking. La Stampa. La Stampa is a, uh, an Italian newspaper right there. Uh, this being, they're asking them, is this really actually happening? Their journalists are trying to get a grip on this. Are, is the United States actually moving out their nuclear stockpile from Turkey? Well, I don't know if Russia is going to get themselves in the middle of something that's going to end up backfiring on them, or has Erdogan really recognized that the Obama administration, uh, especially with Hillary coming next, is, is really a, a, a wicked empire of itself, but Erdogan isn't a whole lot better uh, by, by no means. But the thing is, this, you know, they talk about the building of the Third Temple could cause a World War III. This may do the exact same thing. The United States losing their foothold in Turkey at the Inser Lake base only for Russia to take over it. Uh, guys, things are getting pretty tense and going pretty crazy there. And I do believe that uh, we're seeing, I've, I've watched Vladimir Putin, I've seen the president there, has slowly but surely he's been making uh, allies. Uh, it looks like he may be making uh, allies with Armenia and uh, he's done it with several other countries that are NATO members that he has been pulling onto his side. I think Putin is pretty much well aware that a war is about to erupt somewhere along the ways, uh, along the way, not ways, but along the way there. And uh, Russia says Turkey could provide Inserlik base for Moscow and Syria. Another uh, from uh, another new news media source there. There's a lot of things going on out there about this. It's getting serious, guys, very serious. And I will be updating you on uh, things that are going on in Ukraine as well, uh, just as soon as I get a chance to get back into that. I have noticed uh, we must have made a pretty powerful impact on Ukraine because I'm seeing a lot of news feeds coming out now trying to disprove some of the video footage we've showed you of Ukraine tanks on the contact line and uh, uh, next to Donetsk. Uh, the OSC has been asked to go in there to verify it. So we're having an impact. We're making a difference, guys. And that's what we're trying to do to try to de-escalate this situation. Because I don't believe that Putin has any desire to want to go to war. Uh, but there are certain members uh, of the NATO community that would love to see a war get started. And perhaps some of the members of that NATO community, though, don't want the war to start. 
Maybe we do have some good French partners and German partners that would rather not see a war get uh, all carried away there in Ukraine. Uh, but anyway, continue to pray for those people in that region as well. Get a chance. Go by Hebrew Nation Radio there. Uh, Brother Roddy was on with uh, uh, Bonnie and Ron, their program, program Wake Up. Uh, don't know the exact name of how that is, but anyway, it's on the Hebrew Nation. He did an incredible job defending the Temple Mount being the exact location of where the temple stood, the first and second temple. He made an incredible statement there today. I have to just just say it, say it like it is. Brother uh, Roddy made the comment to suggest that the temple was any other place other than the Temple Mount itself is replacement theology. And so much for Bob Cronuk and Ken Klein. Uh, I know Ken a little bit better than I do Bob Cronuk. Bob I've spoken to on the phone, Ken of course as well, uh, but they both have tried to suggest that the temple was built in another location. And as Roddy said, if they would only take the time to sit down with archaeologists, historians, and to see that yes, there is a massive water supply for the Temple Mount, and there is massive archaeological evidence that the troops were not stationed on the Temple Mount, but all around the region there, over there on... Uh, on the uh, Mount of Olives, places like that where the troops are at. He does an incredible job on that. God bless our brother there from Israel. And uh, we'll be having him uh, here with us here on Israel, uh, Israeli News Live uh, before too long here, sharing some very powerful insights from that, that part of the world on the Temple, Temple Mount, things going on there. Anyway, again, I want to thank too Brother Roddy for sharing this information with me about Russia and the possibility that they may be taking over the Israelic Air Base in Turkey. That's a major game changer, guys. Major game changer. And the uh, world's ramping up very rapidly for something to happen. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.